Nick, for this Miami team, you didn't play in the last game, but when you do watch the film, when it comes to coming up against Bama Adebayo, what's going to be key? I mean, he's been cooking. Um, he's knocking down the mid-range shot with confidence, drawing, doing a really good job drawing fouls, knocking down his free throws. Um, so it's going to be a challenge for myself, but it's not just on me. It's on the whole team to um, try to slow him down. Talked about Bam cooking. This Heat team has won now six straight. Their last loss was against the Nets right here on this court. For you guys offensively, what do you guys have to do to get that flow and get to that pace that you guys want to play? Just keeping, like you said, just keeping our flow going, our continuity, um, getting into actions, playing in transition, getting stops, playing as fast as we can, and then continuing to build on our half court offense. You guys have played pretty well against them the last several games. We what, have, what, right? Yeah. What, yeah. What is it about either the way you guys have responded to them or what is it about the way they play that you guys have matched up okay against? I mean, I think everybody knows what, you know, how Miami plays. They play extremely hard. So if you go out and just play as hard as you can, whenever you, you go against them, you give yourself a pretty pretty good chance. And, you know, you knock down some shots, you, you always have a good chance. Is it encouraging the last game where you guys were able to find that tempo without Ben, just be able to run up and down the court and have that same flow that you guys want to play with? I mean, definitely. That's that's gonna be a part of our challenge. Just you know, guys being injured, being Cam, and then we just everybody has to be ready to fill in and step up in their in their roles. So, what do you think has to maybe change, or what can you take away from that to kind of keep that tempo up without Ben? I think it's on everybody. We got a lot of different people that can push the break when we get re when they get rebounds. Um, so just you know, getting the ball up court, putting up threes. You know how we want playing, how we want to play. Um, even though we're missing an incredible break starter like Ben. And then Jock said, too, I think taking more risk, taking those challenges. Do you, do you kind of sense guys are trying to take some more risk, whether it's making one for steals or you with some blocks a little bit? Yeah, I think we trust in the schemes more. Um, guys are definitely in the passing lanes more. Even when I'm guarding people defensively, you know, going back to years prior, I'm not used to having so much help. I'm used to really kind of being on the island, but we've been doing a really good job of loading up and just doing and showing bodies on the defensive side of the ball. Jack Fine uh, joked after the last game that he told you that you can't take those fouls home with you. Um, but you are able to navigate through that foul trouble. When you co go up against this Miami Heat team who, who relies and focuses defensively um, on their game plan, how can you kind of balance that as well going tonight? I mean, I know I need to be on the court. Uh, last game I, I had some, some early foul trouble, and I, ended, I finished strong. But you know, for us to be at our best, I know I, I can't be in foul trouble. So, you know, that's gonna be that's gonna be real important. Is it? Did you guys have to build trust in each each other to take those risks? Did you guys have to build trust in the scheme and what you're being told to do, or the coaches? Where did the trust? What was it that you needed to build trust in for you guys to feel comfortable gambling and basically putting yourself out there? So you, you know. Because when you're gambling, you can look bad on film. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's, it's something that we're still building on. It's like it's building trust in the in the scheme and the coaches and the players because you gotta know that somebody's gonna have your back. And then if if you're giving up a three or an open cut to somebody, you know you don't want to look look crazy on on film or, or give up points to your man. So it's just a trust all around. So you gotta basically trust that somebody can help to help. It's gonna help to help. Yeah, because that's what that's our that's our um, our scheme. So you just gotta. Trust your, your guy's going to be there. Going back to the fouls, I mean, I've noticed later the last two years you really haven't had a lot of, like, five foul games, six foul games. When you got those four fouls, what what have you leaned on to kind of, you know, make sure you didn't get that fifth or, or get that sixth even? Uh, I mean, you don't want to play too tentative because when you play tentative, that's when you usually go out there and foul. So just just being smart, staying down on pump fakes. I jumped on a couple early. You know, people are going to try to use pump fakes against me. They know I'm a great shot blocker. Um, so really just, just playing smart and just having to feel for the game. Nick, when you look at the last like month, this is you all's third time in Miami. Does it feel like you guys have been here a lot or is it, has it been fun to come to Miami so, so, so soon and so quickly? I mean, it's always nice to come to Miami, but it's also bad because we don't come here later in the year. They, they, they screwed us over with the schedule for sure. But I mean, it's been good to be here so early in the year.